He is having a dumpster sale because all of his products are trash. Let's put it up full mass. So he's saying, well, according to the Star Tribune, Mike Lindale's company, My Pillow, is auctioning hundreds of surplus equipment as a result of loss in revenue reports. According to the report, items such as sewing machines, industrial fabric spreaders, forklifts, and even desk and chairs are up for auction on a website called K Bid. This comes after the MyPillow chief executive officer in May asked the public to buy stock in his business, Lindell TV, to gain back the millions he spent in an effort to overturn the 2020 election. Oh, sweet black Jesus. The auction also comes after an arbitration panel ordered Lindell in April to pay $5 million to a software developer who debunked his false 2020 election claims. He's out here living reckless, ladies and gentlemen, reckless. Now, sometimes people push back when I mention that I do believe, fortunately, that Mike Lindell is back on crack. He actually talked about his crack addiction during an interview. We have played that interview before. I'm not making that up, you can find it, it's there. Notice when you do, he is calm, he is saying things that make sense. He's actually quite charismatic and charming in that interview. Because I believe in that interview, he was no longer on crack cocaine. I do think he has relapsed on something, he needs to get help. But instead he was exploited by the right, by Donald Trump and his own bigotry. According to Star Tribune, when the CEO was asked if pending lawsuits have negative, negatively impacted sales, Lindell replied, of course. However, referring to the arbitration panel's order, Lindell said, the five million is the lowest one, adding, I will be vindicated in every single one. It was a massive, massive cancellation. We lost 100 million from attacks by the box stores, the shopping networks, the shopping channels, all of them did cancel culture on us. Isn't it ironic? These are free enterprise people. Free enterprise people will say, if you have a private company, that private company does not connect with the consumer, then it is your fault for not having a business that is in fact sustainable. This is the same individual who believed that Hillary Clinton should be arrested, that Democrats are communists, and the list goes on. I would consider that being quite, quite cancel in the culture. And if you wanna talk about cancel culture, sir, there is no greater expression of cancel culture than that of what white Americans attempted to do to black people here in the United States of America, I would call that an engagement of cancellation in the culture, but we did overcome. There's more, the ongoing controversy over Lindell's false 2020 election. Claims has forced major shifts in his business, noting after some shopping networks dropped his products, the company has moved his, uh, to direct sales, shooting new television commercials and trying to boost his presence through email marketing, radio spots, and direct mailing. Let me remind you of some of the things he said that got him deplatformed from some of these private entities. Here it is. They did this because I'm revealing all the evidence on Friday of all the election fraud with these machines. So I'm sorry if you okay. think it's not uh, Mike, it's real. I, 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 can I ask our producers, can we uh, get out of here, please? Uh, I, I don't want to have to keep going over this. Actually, we at Newsmax Mike, have not been able wait, to verify status, any of those wait, allegations. Wait, that you're, you're, Mike, oh, hold on a second. A Everybody hold on a second. Mike, Mike, hold on one second. Uh, let's talk a little bit about just what is happening overall in terms of sense. Why did the host leave? Because he did not want to be party of a lawsuit. That's a wise man. Well done. That's what he's not party of a lawsuit. All right, Sharon. It is interesting to me that these individuals who will who will claim uh, pull yourself up by your bootstrap. Uh, mm. You have all the opportunity in America you need as soon as they are faced with the penalty of their own publicly 
submitted commentary. They then start crying like, hmm. Yeah, this is the tale of two Americas, Dr. Ritchie. I too do not believe he's ever officially beat addiction. He's just moved from one to another, from coke to crack to gambling, foreclosure, his wife left him. And now he is addicted to these conspiracy theories and it's sad. This is a sad tale and if, I'll just end it with a question. How much longer before we find him under a bridge nestled inside of one of Hillary's baskets of deplorables? That's wow. what's probably imminent. He, yeah, he may be there. All right, we'll give you any update that comes out of this madness with uh, the My Pillow Man. Who would have thought the damn My Pillow Man would be such a pivotal figure in the Christian conservative movement? Uh, amazing.